Hi there! Today I wanted to talk about the unit Orn. Orn is a Tempest Bruiser and one of the absolute staple frontliners for Set 7 Dragonlance. He has an extremely powerful ability where he calls forth a ram that travels towards him. Everybody who's going to get hit by the initial cast is going to have their attack speed reduced and if the ram ends up arriving at Orn, he can bump it and this is going to cause a knockup for everybody who gets hit by it. So far so good, but the reason I'm making this video is because he has a very specific targeting and also a lot of counterplay, so there's definitely a lot to talk about. Let's get right into it. When you're playing Orn, you have to scout a lot, because you need to know where your opponent positioned his carries. Because Orn's initial targeting goes for the farthest enemy. This means that in this example, where we have the carry block on the left side and the filler unit on the right side, the initial cast from Orn is going to only hit the filler unit and this is a crucial part because this is going to be the attack speed debuff. And in your absolute worst case scenario, if the Orn is right in front of the carry block, then the ultimate will even not hit the carries at all and this might cause a pretty poor teamfight for you. But thankfully the fix for this is extremely easy. All you have to do is make sure that the Orn is always on the opposite side of the opponent's carry. So in this case we position the Orn to the right side. And this is going to give us a huge advantage because the first units that are going to get hit by the attack speed debuff from Orn will be the enemy carries. And in your best case scenario you will also get the knockup on the enemy carries which will definitely help you at winning your teamfights. Now there are two ways to mess with Orn's ability if you're playing against him. For the first way, we need to scout where the Orn is positioned. If somebody is trying to snipe your carries by positioning him on the very right side of the front row, then what you want to be doing is you want to play an assassin and you want to have him on the opposite corner of Orn. This is going to cause Orn to consider the assassin as his furthest enemy for his first ability cast, which means you can prevent the attack speed to debuff for your carries and if you're also pretty lucky, you can also prevent the knockup. Now the second way to mess with Orn's ability is a lot cooler, because all you have to do is tack in a Lee Sin. Lee Sin has an ability that allows him to kick away his target. And this can cause huge issues for Orn, because when he casts his ability and the ram is going towards him, Lee Sin can kick him out of the trajectory of the ram, and then he's just going to stand still, because <laughs> the ram has to finish the animation, and he can't bump it, and he can't knock up your team, and this is pretty awesome, but you do have to be careful about the Lee Sin angles, because if you're unlucky then Lee Sin is just going to, you know, do a diagonal kick and Orn won't care, he will still get his knockup. So to sum up, if your opponent is playing Orn and this guy has been giving you a lot of trouble, now you have the tools to be able to properly deal with it, position your carries on the right side, potentially tech in an assassin or a Lee Sin, and this guy will all of a sudden be easy as cake to deal with. I hope you learned something today and see you the next time.